have to take this back to Osbert. <laughs> Ibien campo intercept septimo geluculo
And... I would like to see what you have in stock. Ah, that one's pretty good. You are looking. I will see you later, friend. Fight well, Eivor. Octavian, I have something that may interest you. Hmm? Maximilian sends his regards. <gasps> what? He... he gave this to you? That perfect little wretch! How did he bring himself to part with it? Ask no questions, hear no lies. I only hope you enjoy it, and that neither of us have to see that man again. Oh, thank you, Eivor. Thank you! I have to go. See you soon. Valet!
Aid me. Be my eyes. Tell me again, what did your god say about me? My god names you the Crow-Eyed Devil. <laughs> and he sends out his angels to find you and to kill you. And then they will fling you into the pits of hell, demon. That's 
it! Die! What's my lead? Now you bleed! Oh. 
Stretch your wings, Sunan. Norwich, suffering hard times, I see.
locked from the other side. Good to have someone around to handle morally debatable requests. We're always looking for help, so come back any time. If it isn't Eivor of the Raven Clan. How do you know me? People talk. I've heard all the rumors that Eivor the Dane is a coward, a cur, and a leech. Perhaps you can swing that wee axe on your belt, but I doubt you've much talent for speech. You might be surprised. Let us duel. Well, I'll need a wager first. Here is the silver. Now begin. To all those whom I speak, they say Eivor's a clod. To all those whom I speak, they say Eivor's a clod. Then you're speaking to fools, and their knowledge is flawed. Well, not bad. They say you're a coward who runs from a fight. They say you're a coward who runs from a fight. And they are sorely mistaken, I'm known for my might. Interesting. Interesting. Silent whispers all claim that you're terribly dense. Silent whispers all claim that you're terribly dense. No one would say that. It doesn't make any sense. Mm, that one could use some work. Well, what a surprise. Eivor of the Raven Clan is a true talent. I'm shocked. Do not believe everything you hear. Unless it touches on my flighting, then heed every word. 
Take the coin and know that only praise will henceforth cross my lips. What's happening? Finia? Oh, no, not unless Afton sent you. Let's pretend Halfton did send me. Then we pretend you're Finia, his steward of East Anglia. Right. How do you expect to find a king for this kingdom, when this is the speed you work at? Uh, I found him already, and as soon as he's married, we'll plunk his ass down on that throne. Which man? Uh, you know, stranger, you interrupted a beautiful dream. I was sailing through Helheim, drifting on a ship of fire. Dreams of death often run ahead of the real thing. Oh! <laughs> Wouldn't that be a burden off my shoulders? What business have you with the backwater king, anyway? Danes from here attack my clan. I want to know why, and how to make sure it never happens again. Ah, that would be Ruid's clan. They killed the last man I put here, Adelstan. I suspect they'll do the same to our next monarch. A Dane who can't keep the Danes in line? Not much of a steward, are you? If I knew how, I'd have rid our lands of them long ago. Ruid's clan plagues us all, Dane and Saxon alike. You are the sorriest soldier I've met in this country. Kick your king in the ass and fight back. He needs more than a kicking. He's got nothing he should have to win this fight. No courage, no army, no charisma. If he wants to live longer than a season, He'll need the backing of his bride's family, which he hasn't. They loathe the maggot. Who is he, your king maggot? Ah, uh, Oswald of Elmenham, who was King Edmund's council before the invasions. And like it or not, he's the last Saxon noble with any sway. Why not crown a Dane instead? Half done, Jarl, made it clear. He wants a Saxon king married to a Dane, for a greater show of unity. But Oswald's not the sort of man you'd chase into battle with a grin. He's soft, and the settled Danes don't trust him. Where is he now? I'll get the measure of him, see what I can do. <sighs> you just missed him. He's headed for Elmenham just now, pleading once again for peace. If you go by the north gates and along the road, you may catch him. <laughs> 